there is still plenty of hope with 11 games to go that just two or three wins could completely transform how the bottom half of the table looks. The question is, where are those wins going to come? I can say we, we are playing in a 4-4-2 four, four, position. Yeah. Now, let's Adams. see what happens here. Is Elianusi into the box. Perro outside him. Low ball across the box. Back to Stuart Armstrong. Shot blocked. Back it goes. Deflected wide. And there was no flag either. Oh, that could have been a goal for Theo Walcott or Shea Adams or Stuart Armstrong or anybody and they got a touch on it. It was Adams with the last touch. Should he have scored or did he just deflect off him? The first chance was Armstrong's. The pull back by Perro. That was blocked near the goal line by the defender. And when it came back in, it was all too fast for Adams to react. The, the problem is that... It in my eyes looking now Spurs are quite clever they're just sitting back waiting for the mistake to happen Shea Adams has done brilliantly there Walcott might be onside the flag stays down he's been put through he's in the box oh forced to make the save good save low to his left from the big man and Theo Walcott as the flag goes up will be relieved because he's missed the chance forced to make the save actually Walcott would have loved that against Spurs wouldn't he Spurs have it, Skip squares it, rather luckily to Son, who's come in central, just to the left, and fires it left-footed, and that's not far away. Bazunu diving to his left, he's hit it back across him, Son, and it's about a yard wide of the post. Long late, into feet to Son, again he's picked up a great little space, and he's found a free man on the right, here's Pedro Porro, surely it's 1-0, it is! This time the Spaniard has smashed it high up under the crossbar, past Gavin Bazunu, and in stoppage time at the end of the first half, Pedro Porro gets his first goal in the Premier League, his first Spurs goal, and it is Southampton nil, Tottenham won right on half time. And uh, they're doing what I was a little bit worried with. Uh, I don't know if you can see it coming, they've been giving too much space. The formation we play gives away too much space on the sides. Saints playing from right to left in this second half. No more substitutions, surprisingly, not surprisingly, by either side at half time. It's a strange noise coming out under my microphone now. I don't know what that is but hopefully you're not hearing anything bad at home. I'm sure Millie will tell me in the studio if there is. That's all very strange. So, might be my phone near the thing. As Saints break through on the right, Walcott, low ball, Adam scores! No flag! Saints have equalised within one minute of the restart. Fantastic start for the second half for Southampton. They're level against Tottenham Hotspur. Shea Adams has his first Premier League goal since away at Liverpool in November. And the former Arsenal player, Theo Walcott, hurt Spurs with the cross from the right. Perfect start for the second half. Saints have put one past their former keeper. It's Southampton 1, Spurs 1. Help from Porro, the goal scorer. Whips it past Perro, who's off balance. Ball into the box. Son gets it, turns a 360, goes to his left, finds support from Perisic. Shot blocked by Maitland-Niles. Spurs appeal for a handball. Back it comes out onto the right to Porro. He curls it into the back post. Volley up in the air from Perisic. Out for a Saints goal kick. Danger over. 54th minute of the game. 1-1. It's a good contest. Referee having a word here with James Ward-Prowse. I mean, I don't think he was trying to handle it but he did put his hand from low to high. They're guard checking, and I think they're going to get Simon to go and have a look. And I think he is... Oh, no, play on. Thank goodness for that. Surprise scoreline of the day. Wolves nil, Leeds three. Christensen's got a third just after the hour, so Leeds are going to get three points, everyone. And Saints are in trouble here. They've lost the ball in the Spurs half, and suddenly there's four blue shirts on three white, and Kane's 20 yards from goal. And the England captain has taken it on himself and hit it over the crossbar, and relief as the cheers ring round St Mary's. He's being moaned at for not passing it, but it just slightly opened up for him, and you can see why he hit it. He's Harry Kane, for goodness sake. 64 minutes gone, 1-1 one, here. Porro, the goal scorer for Spurs, his first Premier League goal, slides it down the right wing for Kulaseski, deep in the Saints half on the right, crosses dangerously to the back post, free header, Harry Kane, Johnny on the spot, as you'd expect from him, Beautiful cross from the right-hand side. And Kane, a la Ricky Lambert, pulled off at the back post and nods it past Bazunu for his 21st of the season. He's 12th against Saints. And that was textbook Harry Kane and a wonderful cross 
from Kuleseski. It's Saints one, Spurs two. It's going to come out to Pierre Emil Hoybier on the far side, up against Mara. Crosses it right back across the penalty area, back out to Son on this near side. Walcott's in front of him. Kuleseski behind him. The Swede crosses again into a dangerous area. Maitland Niles does well, and then this volley from Perisic gives him his first Premier League goal for Tottenham. He volleyed it down into the ground and past the despairing Bazunu flailing to his left. And Perisic has probably wrapped up the points for Tottenham. Porro gets his first Spurs goal. Perisic gets his first Spurs goal finally since his summer move. And he scores on his 36th appearance for the club in his Saints 1, Spurs 3. Salisu gets there. Lavia will take over under pressure, does well to find Sulemana on the left wing, into Mara, return ball for Sulemana faced by Pedro Porro into the feet of Mara, that's good, edge of the box on the left hand side, had a little shaft of light, finds Ward Prowse behind him squares it, Maitland Niles drills it, oh and it's tipped over by Forster, great effort from Ainsley Maitland Niles and Fraser Forster keeps that two goal lead in touch for Spurs with a good save high to his left to tip it over got a corner as well out swinger easy under pressure no pressure long lay heads clear that's a nice clever header from Walker Peters and a good ball from Sulemana out to the right now Ward Prowse can cross this again heads go up Mara gets his head Walcott it is 3-2 and Walker has his seventh goal against Spurs and the former Arsenal man gets the goal Spurs argue with referee Simon Hooper Saints run back to the halfway line Seku Mara's grabbed the ball and Theo Walcott has his first Premier League goal since May 2021 and it's Saints 2, Spurs 3. Now the youngsters will be buoyed by that. Suleiman had just stopped in his progress but Kelesuski can't keep stopping going. He's still going. Suleiman is still going. Finds Mara on the edge of the box. Wants it on his left foot. Forster makes the save and then grabs it at the second attempt. Brilliant football from the youngsters for Southampton. Mara and Sulemana came alive then and Forster made a very good save rushing off his line. Saints, last minute of normal time. Corner from the right. Ward Prowse outswinger. He's going to look for Salisu, who won the header, but he hit it against the defender. He might get another chance. Saints are getting a penalty. Oh, oh my penalty goodness me. Drama for the foul on Maitland Niles. And Simon Hooper points to the spot. As the corner came in, Eric Dyer's complaining. Oh my goodness me, if it wasn't enough drama going into stoppage time, we got five minutes of it. How about the fact that Ward Prowse has missed his last two penalties? What's going to happen? Is it inside the penalty area? Is it outside? The atmosphere in this stadium, Massive. the international break, everything be determined the rest of the season by James Ward-Prowse, the Saints captain now. This is massive, Adam. This is massive. James Ward-Prowse, my lord, is the cry around St Mary's. Ward-Prowse, in front of the chapel end, has missed his last two penalties. He needs to make it third time lucky against his former colleague, Forster. Ward-Prowse lines it up. Forster touches the crossbar. Here he comes, and he scores! Oh, oh good penalty. Third time lucky for James Ward-Prowse from the penalty spot. His seventh league goal of the season. And Southampton have come from 3-1 down to home to Spurs to level it in stoppage time at 3-3. An unlikely comeback, a brilliant comeback. Saints are alive in the Premier League still. It's Southampton 3, Tottenham Hotspur 3. I hope you've enjoyed this comeback this afternoon, Saints fans, and stayed with us even after 3-1 when you might have been tempted to turn the radio off. Royale. Long ball forward to the corner of the penalty area. Mara battles well for another header. Alcaraz needs to stop the cross coming in. He can't. Stooping header wide of the post. That was surely Spurs' last chance. And that's it, says Simon Hooper. Saints get the point as Longley headed it wide. Hearts in mouths right until the end.